talking about is the kind of controversy that has erupted ever since the Supreme Court stepped in yesterday to say that we will ban the sale of firecrackers in the Delhi NCR region. We've heard so many comments. In fact, all our guests also joining us on the show. We are saying good evening to Ratan Sharda, Shazia Ilmi, Dilip Tahil also expected to be with us in just a bit. But before I actually get into all my guests, we have a special guest here on the top of this edition of the news. Yes, that is a governor of Tripura, Tata Ghat Roy, who joins us uh, on the broadcast. Mr. Roy, thank you for speaking to us on Republic. First up, sir, what are your views when it comes to this entire ban that has been called by the Supreme Court, sir, now? The first of all, I must make it clear that I have the greatest respect to the highest court of the country and whatever I am saying is by way of fair comment. The ban on the sale of crackers mm -hmm. that has been imposed is uh, something that I find, as a Hindu, I find unfortunate. This is uh, putting a ban on part of the celebration of Diwali, which is the biggest All India fe Hindu festival in the country. In my part of the country, that is Bengal, it is celebrated as Bhut Chaturdashi, where we burst crackers to ward away mm. Bhut, that is ghosts or spooks. Now, to try to ban such an activity, I mean, I can understand limiting it to a certain number of decibels, but putting a blanket ban is, uh, I mm. as a Hindu, I find it very difficult to make peace with, and that is all that I have said. But you know, Mr. Roy, is it actually then about Hindu or Muslims? Is it about religion or this is about clean air? This is about environment, sir? That is a question so many people are asking. Yes, it is about environment. But they let us take another question about environment. Mm. The Supreme Court closed and uh, stopped and in my view, quite rightly, the plying of diesel vehicles in Delhi and replace them by CNG vehicles. Because diesel vehicles ply right through the year, particularly in winter when the pollution is the worst and at that time they pollute the atmosphere. They uh, increase the pollution mm. to horrible levels. But Diwali happens only once in a year. And it's a great, great festival of India. Why put a lid on it? I, uh, I, that is what, I, what makes me very, very unhappy. And this is not the time of the peak pollution also. But then, this you is know, only uh, the end of autumn. The worst pollution takes place in winter. Yes. So why, why do you believe the Supreme Court actually said what it said about this particular ban? Why did the Supreme Court do this, sir? No, why the Supreme Court did, only the Honorable Supreme Court can say. Whatever they have written in their Lordship's judgment... Mm -hmm. Uh, has got to be read. I haven't read it. I have only read the near the media reports. But I, this far, I know that okay. there is a ban on the sale of crackers, not on the bursting of crackers and the sale of crackers. That is what makes me, as a Hindu, very unhappy. But, but, but you know, you don't believe, sir, that you're making this entire issue communal, much like what we'd heard also from Chetan Bhagat yesterday. You do not believe that you're making this communal when you actually talk about being a Hindu or saying that this is a Hindu festival. Why are we being targeted? Diwali is a Hindu festival. To say that, is it communal? This is like, like um, someone said over Twitter a few days back. Fasting during Karwa Chot is communal, but fasting during Ramzan is secular. This is silly. This is pointless. Okay. You think this is silly and pointless, but a lot of people remember, sir, ever since actually you've put out that tweet, and I'll take that liberty to, you know, just uh, quote that t tweet and just pick up a reaction from you on that. You say, and I quote, Kabi dahi handi aaj patakha, kal ho sakta hai pradushan ka hawala dekar, Mom Bhatti or Award Wapsi Gang, Hindu o ki chita jalane par bhi yachika dal de. What are you trying to say, sir? What I am trying to say, I have said it very clearly in my tweet, that this kind of ban is something that makes me unhappy. I have expressed my unhappiness through that tweet. 
but is it just limited to the unhappiness because who are these people you're alluding to you you say that there is a mombatti award wapsi gang do, do you do you allude to some people behind this there bank, is a mombatti award no no of course of course there is a mombatti and award award wapsi gang gang we all perfectly know they uh, they they return their awards on certain questions and don't return it on certain other questions they don't return their awards on the banishment of 3 and a half lakhs of kashmiri pandits from their homeland and their being being uh, beggars on the streets for uh, so many years together they don't return their awards on that But sir, who are these people, and why are they linked to this band? What is the connection between the two? All that I have said in the tweet is there for everyone to read. I am not going to offer any further explanations. I think it is quite clear. But 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 you believe that then there is uh, some you know agenda here. You believe that there is a particular group. that is working against you know the hindu festivals is, is that your allegation sir obviously there is there is people who are trying to put a lid on hindu festivals and some, sometimes on kadwa chauth kadwa chauth fasting during kadwa chauth is being criticized as being say is secular and fasting is communal and fasting during ramzan is being uh, bandied about as being secular mm. that kind of thing it has been it has appeared on twitter it has appeared from certain media persons which i find reprehensible but, but but sir i i just want to ask you this again who really are these people who are these people who are behind this particular agenda that you allege of uh, you know perhaps not treating the hindu festivals well who are these people come on you know it and i know it i'm not going to say anything more all right you will not name those people but your tweet is actually making a lot of things very clear appreciate sir that you're speaking to us here in republic uh, this evening tatagat roy the governor of tripura they are making his mind very clear and he says he is categorically against this particular ban because he sees an ulterior motive behind this All right so that remember was a newsmaker this evening uh, on this edition of the news the governor of Tripura they are making his mind very clear and i'm saying good evening again to all our guests who continue to be with us and thank you uh, ladies and gentlemen for being patient uh, ratan sharda author and rss thinker is with us so is uh, shazia ilmi and dilip tahil also completing our panel